You feel lost because you think you don't have it. I don't have the money, I don't have the schooling. If I just did this, I don't know what to do. I don't know. The truth is you'll never get there if you focus on tactics because you already have everything you need to succeed. What's holding you back is up here. We all go through this. We all feel lost. We all feel scared. We all worry about failing in front of other people or making mistakes or losing it all. At times we're super hopeful and optimistic and then other times we're negative and pessimistic. These are common human experiences. You do this, I do this, we all do this. But the thing that's holding you back isn't the strategy, what should I do, I don't know how to learn it, I don't have the education. None of that stuff is holding you back. With what you have right now, you already have everything you need to succeed. Because success is about taking the first step. Success is about learning and growing and being open to challenge. Success is deciding that you're gonna do something and then being open to change your mind when you learn new things or figure out it's not right for you. That's success. But you think it's money or it's education or it's a lack of knowledge or the fact you're in the wrong city or your family doesn't believe in you. You think it's because you have a mortgage and you're in your 40s and how can I quit my job? I still have to put my kids through university. You spend all your time coming up with excuses. We all are like, dude, you should hear my excuses. They are like next level good. I'm worried about this. Oh, I could never do that. They're excuses. You have everything that you need to start right now. One, what do you love? Two, what do you want? And three, how do you make it happen? You know, I, I, I think we've talked about this on the channel, but I was interviewing for Steve's job and I was interviewing, not Steve, someone else, someone we didn't hire. And this person sat across from me and I was super interested by the fact that when I asked them what they wanted to do with their life, they said that they wanted to be a steady cam operator. That's the person who wears a vest on film sets who like counterbalances the camera to get all these cool floating shots. I think that's a super cool career. I think that's, that's, that's an awesome goal to have. It's a really coveted position. At what point did you decide that you wanted this? Like how did you, how did you decide you wanted to become a steady cam operator? The person said a year and a half ago. I was like, wow. What is it about operating a steady cam that you love? He said that he's never used a steady cam. I'm like, you've never used a steady cam? You want to be a steady cam operator? You've decided a year and a half ago you want to become a steady cam operator and you've never used one? Are you kidding me? Like, <laughs> I was angry. I, I was upset because that to me is absurd. Now, I, I pressed him and I gave him an out. If he told people he wanted to be a steady cam operator because he's afraid and he doesn't really know what he wants to do. I can respect that because sometimes people are on your back and you just, you just say what you wanna do in the hope that they'll leave you alone because you haven't quite figured it out yet. But no, that's not the case. This person wanted to be a steady cam operator. They wanted to be a steady cam operator for a year and a half and they haven't gone out and be a steady cam. Why? Because of excuses, right? There was no reason. There was no reason why. You can rent them for a few hundred dollars. You could make friends with someone. You could become an assistant. You could borrow one, do whatever you need to do to go out and put that steady cam on and try it. He had everything that he needed to go out and do it. And guess what happened? I challenged him and the next weekend he had a steady cam on and he posts a photo on Instagram and says, thank you so much for pushing me and I have a steady cam on. But why wait a year and a half? What excuses are you making? Right? Sure, you probably are struggling like we all are with like, what do I do and is it right for me and, um, and, and trying to figure out what it is you want, right? This person knew they wanted to be steady cam operator. What do you want? And then what do you love? If you can figure out what you love, what you're obsessed with, what, what are the things that keep you up late at night because you're on the internet looking at them and stuff like that, not pornography, other things like that. What are the things you're obsessed with? What are the things that drive you? And what is it that you wanna do? You marry those two things together, take action. You stop making excuses, you get bold, challenge yourself. That will take you further in life than anything else. Stop wasting your time asking people, what steps should I take? How do I do this? How do I write a book? How do you write a book? You come up with an idea and you start writing, whether it's good or bad. I was listening to a writer talk about the fact that he would sit down for four hours every morning five days a week and write. And there would be times where after two weeks of writing, he would take all the past two weeks of the things he'd written and he would hit delete and he would burn them all because he hated it. But a professional writer sits down and writes. A professional writer doesn't sleep in or stay up late or make excuses. A professional writer writes. Whatever it is you want to do starts with deciding that you want to do it and then going out and doing it. And your obsession will help you learn, will help you get the courage will help you feel bold. Looking at the people who have done it should inspire you. And not knowing enough, not learning enough, being open to learning and all that stuff, it doesn't matter. 
Because when you know what you want and you know what you love and you're obsessed with it, you will naturally learn. You will learn, you will pick it up. I have a client who's so obsessed with the product that he was developing that he did a deep dive on cork. Right? He knew stuff about cork, where it was sourced and how antimicrobial it was and absorption rates and sound rates. He knew more about cork than anyone else I know. The guy is a smart guy. He's not a scientist. He's not an engineer. He's an entrepreneur who invented a really cool product who somehow thought that cork might help his product. And so he was obsessed. He was obsessed with it. He did a deep dive on cork. What is your obsession? What will be your deep dive? And then take action. That's it. But you're not going to do it. You're going to watch this video. You're going to think, yeah, I'll go on and do it. And then you won't. You'll make more excuses. You will blame other people. You'll blame your circumstance. And I hope a year from now you think of this video and then you get up enough courage to actually do it. What, what are the things that keep you up late at night? Because you're on the internet looking at them and stuff like that, not pornography, other things like that. <laughs> so random. If growing and scaling your business by being better at sales and better at marketing, better at customer experience is important to you, be sure to check out this video right over here. And like always, subscribe to my channel, click on the bell icon, and get each video every day when it drops.